Rochelle's black community was also active and thriving when New Rochelle became a city in 1899. Lord, I keep so busy praising my Jesus, keep so busy praising my Jesus, Keep so busy praising my Jesus, ain't got time to die. Cause when I'm healing the sick, when I'm healing the sick, when I'm healing the sick, ain't got time to die. Cause it takes all of my time, all of my time. If I don't praise him, the rock's gonna cry out, glory and I know. Glory and I know, ain't got time to die. Lord, I keep so busy praising my master. Keep so busy praising my master. In 1899, New Rochelle's blacks were not too different from many of their white neighbors. Abolition in New York State dated back to 1827, and African Americans were full citizens of the state. When New Rochelle became a city, there were about 765 black residents living primarily on Harrison Street, Mechanic Street, Avenue E, Railroad Avenue, and Pugsley Hollow. The black church played a central role in the religious, social, and political lives of its congregants. St. Catherine African Methodist Episcopal Zion Church had been around since 1841. In 1889, the community had grown large enough to support a second black church, and Bethesda Baptist Church came into being. It was founded by congregants who left the White Salem Baptist Church. A decade later, in 1899, Shiloh Baptist Church was founded. Many civic societies and fraternal organizations grew as offshoots of the black churches. The League Hall, a three-story building located on the west end of Brook Street, was home to many of those organizations. League Hall was financed and built by the city's black community led by the New Rochelle Business League for the use of the black community. In addition to the adult organizations that met there, the hall was also home to the League Cadets, a boys civic organization patterned on the Boy Scouts. Home economic classes were also held at the League for the benefit of local girls. In 1899, it not only marked the beginning of New Rochelle's history as a city, it also marked the end of New Rochelle's segregated school di district. The Negro school was closed for good, and New Rochelle black students joined the regular public school system. The class of 1915 included two black graduates, the first in the history of the city, one of them, Anna Jones, went on to become the first black woman judge in New York State. As with New Rochelle's other ethnic groups, there was no lack of city black founding families in 1899. A few of them were the Slaters, the Joneses, the Bracys, the Lees, and the Pugsleys. Many of those black families were prominent figures in business, in the political arena, and many other professions. Their descendants continue to be congregates of today's black churches, which are still growing strong. Praise him, the rock's gonna cry out. Glory and honor, glory and honor. 
ain't got time to die. Lord, I keep so busy working for the kingdom. Keep so busy working for the kingdom. Keep so busy working for the kingdom. Ain't got time to die. Cause when I'm feeding the poor, when I'm feeding the poor, when I'm feeding the poor, Ain't got time to die, cause it takes all of my time, all of my time. If I don't praise him, the rocks are gonna cry out, glory and honor, glory and honor. Ain't got time to die, so won't you get out of my way, get out of my way. If I don't praise him, the rocks are gonna cry out, glory and honor, glory and honor. Ain't got time to die. It's been an exciting 100 years for New Rochelle. Since its influx of workers began laying railroad track and water pipes, we've grown to become a bustling city of more than 70,000 people. New Rochelle has blossomed into a model of diversity, a leader in education and health care, a cultural center. New Rochelle has truly lived up to its nickname, the Queen City of the Sound. Some of the music of 1899, from O Solo Mio to When Irish Eyes Are Smiling, survive to this day. So do the communities, the churches, and the social bonds that began more than a century ago, even before the city charter was granted. You can still smell the Zeppelins in West New Rochelle. You can still hear the singing coming from the black churches on Sunday. The great, great, great grandchildren of many of the families who celebrated New Rochelle's city charter with fireworks and song back in April 1899 are here with us today. Tonight, we begin 12 months of celebration for New Rochelle. We celebrate a century of cityhood with a busy calendar of events. We honor our great city, the special people who have built it, and you who continue to strengthen it. Thank you.